Happy Monday, my brave bandless! Welcome back to another installment of Breakfast and Bandless, where we talk about our bandless predictions and discussions in the TCG and invite all of you to do the same thing in the comments in a nice, loving, respectful manner. <laughs> We're also doing a very European breakfast today. We have biscuits and coffee. I guess. <laughs> now this is our first episode of Breakfast in Banlist where we kind of feel a little uncomfortable because there's no actual Banlist date, right? It's what, in a few months, it's, I believe? Yeah, we're in purgatory right now. It's really weird. We think that the Banlist is going to be probably in the next two or so weeks because we just had a YCS wrap up this past weekend. There's one more coming up in this upcoming weekend. And then we have Hartford, Connecticut, which yeah. is in about a month after that. So this is why we think it makes the most sense of time to do it in this specific time frame because it will give everyone the ability to play test their decks with a couple weeks buffer room. TLDR, we're expecting a ban list in two weeks because YCS is. Also, adding on to our theory, Master Duel, wow, just released a ban list yesterday and it's not effective until May 9th, which is weirdly suspicious. Why did they tell us this now? Also, why is it effective May 9th? Is that any hint toward the TCG? Who knows, Konami-sama, <laughs> but we'll find out the hard way, but I think that kind of solidifies our theory just a little bit more. With all that being said, we're going to hop right into our predictions and our wishes and let us know in the comment section what yours are. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, share it if you really want to, hey. and again, let us know, discuss with each other in the comments, and we will be replying. Anyway, let's get into the band section, I think. So starting off for the first card on our ban list, this has absolutely zero change from our last prediction, and this card is Scythe! Scythe. I hate this card! This card's why, horrible. Why is it still here? Protoss died, but Scythe gets to live. I think this is Garbo, Konami. If this card doesn't get banned, I am going Please. to be P to the end of the D. I'm going to be mad. Anky. Some people will make the argument that, you know, ban Dagda. I don't even think Dagda's is the problem anymore. Just get rid of Scythe. I just hit yeah. the problem card. I, I'm over this whole the, hitting the enabler kind of thing. At the last YCS that we went to, I think I actually got Sanctumed in Scythe more than <laughs> I got, like, Dagda in Scythe. Yeah. That leads me to believe, and I think the player base is kind of in agreement, Scythe is the actual problem. Just get rid of the actual problem. Also, the next hit is also zero surprise. It is Prank Kids Meow Mew to zero. Yeah. This card sucks. It's kind of been a long time coming, and now that Prank Kids is quite literally the best deck of the format, it's gotta go. Yeah. I, this is just the obvious hit. And I think like when it comes to the best deck of the format, there is no really best deck of the format because it feels like the format has been changing every yeah. single week <laughs> lately. Like you had pile decks and then you had base decks, which are just like a branch of yeah. pile decks. And you had like prank. And there's just so much crap running around. And now there's the fusion deck. Like I really just think that there's so many generic cards mm -hmm. in the game right now. The decks yes. in the meta just get to play anything and everything. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to our next hit which we would like to see banned, but we genuinely don't think it will be banned. I have been saying this card should be banned for quite literally since it came out of Dual Overload, you know, the set where every broken link came out of in the last two years. I hate this card. If you can guess it, I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but it's a Roradon. Yeah. I think it's Garbo. Link Cross got hit within like two, three months of release because it generates tokens. It's a broken link too, but no. Then a Roradon kind of slept under the rug there. I meant to say swept, but slept is also fine because no one's paying attention to it. It was a sleeper card. So a Roradon is a generating three token card. It's pretty freaking whack this format. Yeah, it brings back your death spot. It, oh like, my god! It can get you access to your cult wing as well, which brings back the death spot an mm -hmm. additional time. Like, this can get you two to three synchro monsters off of one card and three tokens. Like, maybe we just don't have this card in the game. I just think it's garbage. If Konami actually hates token generating cards as much as they say they do, hit a roar done do it. Yeah. I you think won't. At the end of the day, like, the fact that, like, Sword Soul can play this card, the Eldritch decks can play this card, like, everyone. this makes all the mid-range and, like, the floodgate type trappy control decks have the ability to become combo decks. I think this is the culprit that we just need to get rid of. Aurora Dawn, more like Aurora Gun. And then another card that we genuinely think should be banned, but honestly, we'll probably dodge a ban list once again is, uh, you know, when you hand trap your opponent absolutely perfectly and then they have two bodies left over. Oh my god, I know this song! And they Make make fair take. This card is absolutely unfair. It, it just punishes you for playing correctly. Your opponent has two things left over and now you just have to deal with either a Dragoon or a DPE every single turn. I think we should have our hand traps be a little bit more impactful. Imagine not having to play 16 hand traps in a format because, you know, you need at least two to do anything in this game. Imagine! And before we get into the limited section real quick, Tops has been, you know, in my ear for the last couple minutes. He really has something he wants to say about the ban list, so let's see what our little guy has to say. Meg C to zero. I've actually been playing a lot of Master Duel lately and I can't stand that card. I'm not giving my opponent 45 cards. No card stays banned. Bye. And with all that being said, we're gonna move straight on into the limited section. And speaking of Verte, we're gonna talk about a 
card that should go to one if they don't hit Verte. That is Fusion Destiny. Yeah. I think this one's pretty obvious. I don't know if they'll actually do it. I don't really know if they're going to do any of these things <laughs> we're saying because it's Konami, but I think Fusion Destiny to one is a logical hit if they don't hit Verte. Yeah, that was the limited section. Anyway, let's go into the copium section of the video. <laughs> this is still technically under the limited section, but this is the part of the video where you all go in the comment section and tell us how wrong or right we are. So feel free to do that, but please be nice. So out of all the man lists that we've had, we've said this on every single <laughs> list. I think out of every list, this is the list. If we get this, this card, one. this one card can finally come off the ban list. Oh, put your guesses really quick with a timestamp. What are we talking about? This card <laughs> is Orcus Harpoor. This Ooh. makes so much sense because the OCG got this card to two and we get World Legacy support in the next few months. Oh yeah, I, I think it's beautiful. It's an amazing timing. If we don't get Harpoor on this ban list, I'm genuinely just at the, like, I don't think we're ever gonna get this card off. I don't think Orcus will do and can do anything absolutely like broken. Oh, but you're three, Brian. I think there's so many other decks in the format right now that are doing absolutely a crazy ton more. Orcus will not break or warp the format. It will just be an additional deck that people can go back and revisit and have fun with if we have one heart. <laughs> Konami wanting you to have fun, imagine. Speaking of beating a dead horse, we're gonna beat a dead dragon. And what kind of dragon? A thunder dragon. Hey. Oh boy, I've said this for about almost three years now, and it's getting really tiresome, but I'll say it anyway. Do the line, Logan, do the roar. Colossus to one. I think this could be the one. Again, I'm kind of on the same line of Harpoor. If, if it's not coming back this list, I really think it's never coming back. I think I've said this for about seven lists now. But I really do think like we're getting new Sky Striker cards. Like I, I just it feels like it could yeah. happen. Like it feels obtainable. And I know everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, Nem if I have to hear one more Nemesis Corridor comment, I swear, I swear to God. Like, let's all go outside, touch grass, and remember that one crappy Nemesis Corridor is not enough for it to matter. And if it is, we just get rid of it. Who cares? No one no cares. And frankly, Master Duel. Oh, Colossus isn't one it's there. It's really doing is, nothing. Is Thunder the best deck in no, Master Duel? No, it's like in the no. top point 10. Brigade, they didn't even hit Thunder Dragon. Like, I don't even understand. Well, at this point, Master Duel has proven to me that one Colossus is fine, and anyone who disagrees, I'm sorry, cry about it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I actually have a different opinion here. Uh, I don't think this is the list that we will get it back. I think Konami is starting to like peel things off. I think we're gonna see a trend of, you know, Engage came to one, hopefully Harpoor comes to one at this list. The next list to sell, new Sky Striker support, as Logan says, Engage comes to two, and then I think the following list, or even the one following that, that is when we All will right. get Colossus I can, to one. I can level with that. I didn't think about that. I don't think we will get it immediately. Out of the Eternal format, I think Colossus is the last card that we are getting. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll rescind my aggression a little bit and say that maybe in like one or two lists it'll come back. I think this year it can come back. I think sometime this year. Maybe not the next list, you're right, because I didn't think about it, but it's still coming back. And speaking of Master Duel, I guess, uh, they didn't hit like Dryden or anything. And I mean, Dryden's at one, and I think Dryden could come to one. All my zoo players, if you wanna like all six of you stand up and like root with me on this one, I think Dryden can come back to one. I don't think zoo is oppressive. I don't yeah. think Dryden to one is going to do quite literally anything. We still don't have Barrage, we don't have Broad Bull, we really don't have any good cards anymore. So one Dryden would, you know, make my casual deck a little more fun. I think they actually hit Dryden. It wasn't because mm -hmm. of Zoo, it was because of Tri Brigade. Yeah. The Tri Brigade deck just got all the new branded support and your extra deck is extremely tight. And I think you are now is like yeah. definitely forced to play either the branded or the Zoo stuff. The branded stuff's just better. And then to round out our Copium section, this is the last card. We've actually never gotten to play with this card. And the only reason that we are saying this is because I genuinely think with the reprint coming around it just makes absolutely no sense for them to reprint the yang zing trap mm -hmm. without giving us dang long back. yeah it did seem a little a strange little pointed. Isn't it ghost from the past is that what's so. coming yeah. out of it like yeah i thought that was really Very weird bizarre. i'm like why are they printing this card unless someone knows some secret play or some secret strategy that we aren't aware of please let me know in the comment section i'm sorry i didn't know but like, dang long question mark? And like, when it comes to the Sword Soul deck, I also don't think the Sword Soul deck does anything super mm -hmm. unfair. Even with Auroradon, if we mm -hmm. get rid of Auroradon, I think Denglong will be okay. Yes, Sword Soul will be a better deck. Also, there are no Sword Soul hits on this, so I, I don't know what you expect. It's literally the most fair deck of the format. Bye. And that brings us on to the semi-limited list. This is pretty small, honestly, and also pretty experimental. There's no guarantee that any of these cards will go to two, but I think if we're going to take a hit to the Brave Engine, which a thousand percent needs one, if you don't think the Brave Engine needs a hit, you clearly have not played at an event in literally the last yeah. three weeks. Like, wow. this engine is insane. Now, we just got the Fusion stuff, the mm -hmm. Brave stuff, the Despia stuff. 
they're still playing the Brave Engine. Yeah. A lot of them are choosing not to, but that doesn't that mean... That doesn't mean it's not worth hitting. Yeah, <laughs> like a generic negate in every mm. deck that also has level synergy with the three and the seven to make Baron. Like, it's just... It is really ridiculous. It also would hit the pile deck inadvertently. I think putting right and Water Enchantress yes. to two yes. might be the move. It's a slap on the wrist for sure. I know this isn't like a powerful hit, but I think it at least hurts the consistency a little bit. Right and Water Enchantress Aquaria are literally the best two cards, and I think those are the ones we should 100% be hitting, like harder arguably, yeah. but... I just don't think now is the time because they're going to want people to play it. They're probably going to want to reprint it at some point and they can't hurt it too hard just yet. Really quick, last on the semi-limited list is Tsuchinoko. I think he can come to two. My little guy. My little guy has been at Love one for thing. a long time. I mean, Nessie came to three. I know they're two totally different cards, but at the same time, I feel like Such between that and Jackalope, I think Tsuchinoko is definitely the one that can come to two. Yeah. Jackalope special from the deck, yeah, that's pretty good. But Such like just summons himself out. He's a little level yeah. three guy. He's not doing anything too crazy. He's just vibing. Sounds good. That's strange too, yeah. like the dangers have been power crept, but realistically, <laughs> the dangers have been power crept. And then moving on to the unlimited list, or not limit, nothing, the nothing list? I yeah. don't know, the, the your free list, I guess. <laughs> is cards that are very expected at this point. There's nothing really surprising here. It's just things that, you know, have yeah. been slowly coming back and are just coming to three. Yeah, I mean, the hero lives, <laughs> Salaman, Great Circle, and then obviously Scapegoat. All yeah. these cards came to two last list. They are doing literally nothing. Yeah. I think the <laughs> semi-limited list is, once again, as everyone has kind of referred to it now, the quarantine zone. Shout out to COVID. I think that we are literally just getting all of these cards as like the little buffer, mm -hmm. and then they're coming back to three when we all realize that they aren't doing anything. Yeah, Scapegoat, you know, really just generating some really mean tokens over here. Wow, can you imagine a fair and balanced card where you can only summon tokens that turn and nothing else? That's it! That's all we got, team. I feel like this list is going to be honestly kind of small. I don't really think it's even going to be this heavy by any stretch of the imagination. It could be. I don't know. Konami likes to surprise us a lot, yeah. either in a really good way or a really terrible way. But I think if they do hit quite literally any of these cards, mostly Scythe, I will be happy. Like, I, yeah. I won't be surprised if they don't hit the Brave Engine. If they do, cool, but I think Scythe, needs Scythe needs to go. That is the only card I'm genuinely passionate about them hitting. Maybe a Roar on too, but that's just a personal thing. So make sure you guys let us know in the comment section down below what you think is getting hit this list. It can be Copium, it can be like hard, fast predictions, whatever you guys think. Again, these are kind of a mixture of both of our wish lists and predictions, so please be gentle on us. And again, we don't know when the ban list is coming. We figured that would be a good time to get it up so that we don't, you know, inadvertently miss it or somehow upload it on the same day. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you, you matter, and we will see you guys on stream tonight and in the next video. Bye, team! See y'all!